Okay, now we're gonna build the slat wall unit. It's probably the most complicated one. It's identified as three FS, FTSWV1. And basically uh, it has some wood doors on the right side. These are the slat panels, which I'll show you. Then there's fabric on the left and fabric in the back. If you follow this, it's gonna be a step-by-step. -step. We're gonna show you, but you need to follow how it's built to be able to get these doors installed correctly. And we're gonna do this vertically so that we actually have a little bit of a step stool. Um, so with this, again, you got your connectors and feet, but these are also some shelf supports and some uh, connector cap covers that they supply. Um, just to show you, we have, this is the, the bottom section. We have some vertical, I'm sorry, I'm gonna start over here. This is your bottom section. And then it, this is uh, the bottom verticals. This is your center section the upper verticals and the upper, uh, the, the top uh, horizontal. With this, uh, there's two interior shelves that are designated. We actually have these slats. They're all put together in one panel. You'll see how that slides in. These are the doors. They have handles on them. They're packed in a box of four doors because each set has two of these units. You'll notice there's holes opposite of the doorknob. We'll show you how that works. And then each slat wall has a, back, a side panel and a back panel uh, of graphic. So we're gonna watch Chris. We're gonna go slow. But if you can do this, it's a pretty, uh, pretty good build. So again, we're gonna start with our connectors, putting our feet in, and we're gonna build the bottom. And as I mentioned, the um, fabric panels, which we showed you, are gonna go on the left side and the back and the slats will be in the front and the doors are on the right side so what he's doing here is he's setting up this is the back and that is the right side looking from the front that has that pin in there and you'll see how that's going to work but we have we have a channel here a little different channel um, okay so we're starting with the back bar. I'm sorry, this is the front bar. This is the slat bar, slat bar. And you can see, so the right side has that pin in the back. And that left side has the channel for the silicon edge graphic. And the back bar has slightly different, has a different, it's called a 90 degree uh, channel. It kind of spaces out from the bar. So that's our bottom. So again, looking from the front, you have that plastic U channel. On the right, you have the bar with the pin. On the left, you have a bar with the interior silicon edge channel. And on the back, you have the 90 degree. So now we're going to go with the, what's the number we're looking at? This is okay, BU3. This is BU3. So when you take a door and those little holes, it's going to go, it's going to sit on that pin.
first time just a little bit tougher. And then we take the center bar that has a pin. That is the M4. And then we're taking, the next bar we're taking is this one, the BU3, and we're putting a connector on the horizontal. And you need to coordinate getting that connector on and getting the pin involved. And so that's how that door is going to pivot. Okay. Now you're going to grab a bar. What number is that one? This is BU4. This is lat wall side. Okay. We're making. We're going to make a box with the channel, that deep channel, the plastic extrusion, and that pretty much locks in that. And see how the door pivots. We're going to do that another time on the top, but we're going to continue building the bottom. So again, you're grabbing another bar that's got the U-channel. This one, we want to make sure that we have the inside silicon edge channel. And then the last bar vertical on the bottom has the inside, but it also has the 90 degree. Okay. And we're going to put cubes on it. And then you're grabbing which bar? Uh, you know. M3. M3. That's going to be a horizontal. And again, the drawing will show this, but we're just... You can see that's the M3. And then we got a side one here. And again, that's the M2. We've created a box here for a, a fabric panel. Now we take one of the slats and that'll slide down. loosen the bars a little bit but um, that holds together real nicely and then you're you're grabbing a bar that has two plastic channels to a it it's called the M1 start building for the second tour. We're doing this vertical just because the weight of everything using gravity just to kind of hold everything in place. And this is where the step stool comes into play. So we've put a we put a bar TU3 this is the back right bar where it's clean on one side has the 90 degree and we're going to put down that that door on that pin again Sit in the hole, gotta get everything twisted 
right, and once you get that bar straight, it's pretty secure right there. Nice job. So he's, he's going to grab some more connectors. It's going to finish off this side. Again, you're building that channel. To the other vertical. Sorry for the noise. Got some electrical going on. We're continuing. So this one has again the inside channel and then the large uh, channel for the slats. back one on and the side and everything is labeled to the drawing now we got to get the second slat in We're getting in the one channel there throwing it in the other channel Sliding it down. It's always easy if you got two people. But now. Okay. Just gotta make sure everything's kind of in there. catch on an edge or something, but oh, and again, you, it's always good to make sure the, that the your uh, connectors are straight. Makes everything always fit better. Once you have it kind of in place, set, you're going to get that top bar. That's going to hold everything together. Just make sure everything's lined up. Once you got it all, that top bar will go in, and once it'll twist, there you go. There. And I'll lock it. Okay, so we got our two doors on. Um, now we're gonna 
We're going to use this part to shelf support, and we're going to show you how it twists in. Come at an angle, and it just twists like that. I almost flipped them the other way. Have it so we put a couple on either side on each bar. I think each, uh, each section, the top and the bottom have six, so just two each on. Okay. Again, we're going to grab a shelf. They're all the same size, so. Um, but you're just going to lay that right in there. And it just fits right in between. That gives you your shelf. Or we'll close. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, now for the side panels, we've kind of already seen how to put those in, but we're going to show you on the back with this, what they call a 90 degree, uh, there's some parts we need to put in there. So in the straight sections, we're going to put, it's called a straight infill, and in the corners, they actually have a 90 degree. going to put those all the way around. There'll be each one of these slat walls will have four corners and two straight infills. And each set has two of these slat walls. So once you got those in, we're going to grab the big panel of fabric. Pretty much gets the back panel on there. And then we would put the uh, side panels. Let's just put the side, the bottom one on just to show. It. And these go on the inside of the bars.
Let me just do one more on the top and then that completes the, uh, the slat wall unit. Oh yeah, um, Techna does supply little cap cover, uh, connection, connection cap covers and so you could cover up the, uh, the holes on that. There you go.